All right, so we have spent three days in Bermuda so far. We've kind of just been getting acclimated and uh, doing some work. The boys went skateboarding one day. Brady got some good boy time in. <laughs> when we met up with them later, they were all dirty and sweaty and carrying their skateboards around and stuff. It was pretty cute. But we just decided to move anchorages over to Castle Roads. This is one place that everyone said we have to come. So we just came around the corner and it looks like we just sailed into a swimming pool. <laughs> the water is insane. What do you think? I'm glad we uh, explored a little bit. Yeah. St. George, it's easy to get stuck in one place after a passage because you have so much stuff to do and then you start partying then you start meeting people and uh, we just decided today to come over here and do some dives and I'm really glad we did because we're just going to live on the hook a little bit more remote than what we were before. Oh, this is paradise, bro. Like, can't wait to jump in. It's so clear. It looks like a pool. <laughs> Big ass swimming pool. Ready? <laughs> that was beautiful. And then all the dive sites that we want to do are first things first drop the hook and then jump straight in. <laughs> This is the story of Delos, a sailboat that's been cruising around the world for over a decade. I jumped on board 10 years ago, not knowing that one day I'd be stepping up as captain with my girlfriend and first mate by my side. Over 50 crew have called Delos home, and that tradition of sharing the adventure continues this season as we write the next chapter of the Delos story during a lap around the North Atlantic Ocean. If you enjoy Delos videos, please hit subscribe. It's a fast and free way to keep our journey going. You guys have pretty soft backs. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I work hard to keep my back soft. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Soft. <laughs> you know what today is, Rubes? It's dive day. Today is the first dive of the season. Ooh. And Well, there's a lot of us. There's five, I think there's about seven divers total. Whoa. So we're gonna hop in uh, probably two boats and then we're going to dinghy around the corner. There's a mooring ball we can actually tie up to on top on top of the wreck. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> nice. And uh, yeah, just have a nice chill dive. This 385-foot Greek cargo steamer fell victim to the reefs of Bermuda in 1940. The Palanian was making her way from Africa to Baltimore, helmed by a seasoned captain just months away from retirement with a perfect track record, which in those days was no small feat. Unluckily for him, the British had blacked out the lighthouse to prevent being spied on by the Germans. And before he knew it, he had struck the reef off St. David's Head. 
The wreck has become famous from its giant steam boilers sitting in sand, and just the overall sprawl of its remains, which make for some pretty sweet swim throughs. There, the topography right here is crazy. There's like these big balmies, and then the shipwreck has kind of fallen and spread out amongst them. So it's crazy. Then these big boilers and pretty healthy coral, lost and lots and lots of brain coral. We'll see. Not that many fishes, but some decent sized, colorful parrot fish. And some sweet swim throughs. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? <laughs> now we go drink some beers and uh, fill the tank. Yep. Look at the color of this water. Paradise, baby. Deep paradise. So today, Reuben becomes a man. He goes from 19 years old to 20 years old. And uh, Sean and Kiara are making him... What are you making? We, we're gonna make a waffle cake. So, simple. Waffles, maybe like four waffles. Nutella, blueberries, waffles. Nutella, blueberries, waffles. And we're gonna try to find more sugary things to put between waffles. <laughs> waffles. Awesome. It's gonna be so good. Whoa! Oh, you made me jump, man. <laughs> Happy birthday, princess. Thanks, Dad. Mmm. Feel any different? Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah, a bit, yeah, real different. Look, like man, look like a man. Let's go watch some football. Yeah, go to the strip club. Let's struggle up birds and go to the strip club. Yeah. All right, well, let's start the day off with some waffles and some blueberries. Okay, sounds so good. Yeah, boy. Are you playing your guitar again? <laughs> Just back <fuck> the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Made a cake for you. She's Tell <laughs> <laughs> come on. Cheese and rice, man. Cheese and rice. Happy, Happy birthday, little brother. Big brother. Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you. What do you want to do today, bro? I really don't mind. I've already been living like the best birthday like for the last two weeks, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm super chill with whatever goes, really. Let's go jump off some cliffs. But let's jump off some cliffs. Come sit down and blow your candles. Come. We have to reuse candles on the oh. boat, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yes, you get the birthday question. Yeah. Ooh, what good. was the main lesson that you've learned in your last year at 19? What's your takeaway lesson? I think the one thing, yeah, actually, no, I think about is the one thing that I learned is that within relationships and friendships, you're never going to get anything out unless you put in. I think I learned that quite a lot this year. Like, if you want to keep in contact, you want to have good friends, you as a person need to put the effort, you know, to, to maintain that. Because that's something which I just took for granted when I was younger. Just oh, you just have friends, that's fine. But in reality, like when you're you're traveling around, everyone's going their different ways. You've got to put in the effort and give the love, and then you receive the love. And True. it's kind of been shown a lot on this boat as well. So that's probably the biggest thing I've learned. So. Boom. Twenty going on thirty. Guys, <laughs> wise man. <laughs> He's gonna give us a lot of love today. <laughs> you, get, you, get a, you get a bonus question. Oh, fun! Let's do it. How does it feel to not be a teenager anymore? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> now you want time to slow way down. Yeah, from here on out. Oh, really? Yeah. So no, just, really? You're gonna plan <laughs> your time though. Oh. No, plan slow time. down. Okay, just in every respect. Yeah. Okay. Feeling really at home at the moment. <clears throat> so I don't know, it's been three weeks on the boat and uh, super at home. Hey guys, where are we going today? Spelunking and cliff diving.
Do you have any idea what you think the issue is? I don't know, man. These plugs are really old. We haven't changed them in a while. Sure. So it could, it could not be getting a spark. Uh, Compression, right. Compression's good. Do you have any spare ones? Yeah, we do have spare ones. Typical Dallas episode. Something breaks. Yeah. <laughs> What's your plan, Sean? Um, we're just going to check if we got spark on the plugs. Uh, so how do you check? Uh, what I'm going to do is just take them off, clean them up, mm -hmm. and then you can see from that, that yeah. it looks rough, it definitely works. That one? Ready? Fancy spot. Yeah. So did you just drain it up? Uh, try not to, I just wanted to see if there was fuel going to the carb, and there definitely is. So like Sean said earlier, the first two things to check are to make sure that there's spark. Mm -hmm. So check the plugs. Yeah. So there's fuel actually getting to the carb on that. And there, is, there is a pretty bad kink in our fuel hose coming to the carb, so it could have been starved of fuel and that's why it's stalled. Are you ready? Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! You did it! Let's roll! <laughs> Good job, senor. That was it, man. Just a little kink in the hose. Kink in the hose! So that was a good life lesson, that was. So was it? That was a good life. This scholarship is real good. <laughs> <laughs> Tenderfoot. Tender From now on, Ruben, you're not allowed to wear shoes when we go on hikes. Okay. We're gonna yeah. be beef those feet up, boy. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, Dad, I'm okay. Yeah, Dad, I'm good. I'm a big man, man. Bad, bad, bad. bad. I'm going in, boys. Oh my god. Whoa. What? It's eerie. It is eerie. Especially when you don't know what's in the water. Right. How many different types of people and how many people have come in and out of these caves over the years? Yeah. Just think how. Dude, for like diversity absolutely of ages. What these caves have seen in and out of them.
Just to get it really spooky, right? Yeah. <laughs> lights off. <laughs> okay, lights off. <laughs> How have you found today so far? Oh my gosh, Bermuda's crazy. Yeah, this place is insane. Around every little corner there's just something new and it's just us. We have this crazy, beautiful nature wonderland to ourselves. Spectacular. I've never really been anywhere like this before. It kind of feels like a, I don't know, like a little dreamland. It does, doesn't it? It's kind of like a little bit of a paradise, and you're like, hmm. Yeah, what's I like going it. On? <laughs> yeah, what is this? It's very nice. <laughs> it's cool. It's beautiful. Yeah. What do you think about this place? It's cool, man. I thought it would be way more. I think it's really touristy during the day, and there's a lot of people. But the fact that you can come by water and it's just we have it all to ourselves now, it's really cool. It's a beautiful spot. It's an interesting thing because you wouldn't imagine that there's like populated areas all around us and houses, but there is. Yeah. Beautiful. If I was the sunshine, fist fight every storm. Let the whole world freeze If it might not keep you warm Cause all I need is What do you think about these Bermuda sunsets? Oh, magic. I love this place. I mean, I'm so happy we actually stayed here and like, you know, get to enjoy and to like cruise around and go to crazy caves and do all these adventures. Happy. Today was a fun day. Favorite moment was probably watching Sean send it off of that cliff. It really shocked me because I was like, that's way too shallow. And then he just did it front of him like, oh. bruh. That was cool. He inspired me. <laughs> oh. Inspired. Yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'll teach you things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite moment of the day, Sean? I'd say swimming in that little blue hole, that was pretty cool. I've never been in something like that that's freely available and free to the public to enjoy. And yeah, a special day spent with awesome people. It's the most important thing. Isn't that warms my heart, man? The fact that every day we come back and we're like, you know what? I've had such an amazing day, so many things happen, and yet every single time we're all like, but the kind of like, the essence to be shared with each other. Gotta cry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go watch the sunset and cry. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> He's a special boy. <laughs> when I caught you in my soft Sunset and a hug. <laughs> Next up on Delos. <laughs> Sean and Kia are out canoodling on the paddleboards. It's really cute, actually. The spark between Sean and Kia grows into a flame. And we set sail on the next leg of our Atlantic crossing, an 1,800 nautical mile sail between Bermuda and the Azor Islands. Ooh, I thought that for a little bit of adrenaline, man. I was just down unloading cards and all of a sudden, and loud pop and ran outside and, and our downwind pole was up against the, the rail and the uh, Jenniker was just flapping free. So come check out what happened. What's up, Delos Tribe? Check out these sweet new flags that we got made. We heard your guys' request that you wanted some, but first we had to get one on Delos and torture test it to make sure that it was up to the test, and it is. So there's a fresh new batch waiting in the shop for you today. <laughs> What's your name gonna be today? Oh man. Chet. Chauncey? Chet? No, more like Indigo. Indigo. Indigo Cheddarson. Indigo. No, one name. Just Indigo. <laughs> Can you, let's, how's your Bermudian accent sounded? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the name's, name's Indigo. Over there. I like it. 
Okay, it was goo. Cool. Hit some ball. Hit some balls, oh. eh? What's your backstory? No, 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 none of that right now. Not too early. Too early. Okay. Too early in Indigo's life. Mmm, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> your shirt's way too small, and your shorts are way too big. <laughs> it's a good look. Heavy on the bottom, light on top. I'm so salty. I'm, I'm so, so salty. salty. There we go, Sean. Now yeah, you got that's it. Yeah, perfect, man. Now you got it. Oh, shit. Is there a different shirt I can wear that's a bit louder? <laughs> Let me, oh, you don't, you don't feel loud enough right now? I forgot what was going on up top. <laughs> Sorry. Stupid luck. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, get together real quick now. If you're looking for a destination wedding, consider us as your first choice. Rosewood, Bermuda. We care. <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot.